Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, what we have is we have a powerful new update for Samsung's My Files application. So let's dive in and get started. I will show you everything that is new. Now, first and foremost, to get this update, what you want to do is you want to click the link down below. That's going to take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you just want to scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you want to click this link. Once you click the link, it'll take you to the store. And at the bottom here, you are going to see the update option. So update that and then open the My Files. Let's see everything that is new. All right, so just for reference, I have the old version and I have the new version. So here's the old version. I'm going to tap on My Files. I'm going to tap on My Files. Now, overall, they look almost the same, but let me show you the differences. So first difference is here. When I go into internal storage, what's going to happen is uh, on the old version, you see everything. Everything is listed here. There's no filter. It just looks like a mess. On the new version, when you tap on internal storage, you actually get the essentials first. The camera, the downloads, the music, the photos, and the ringtones. Okay. If you want to see the whole list, all you do is there's a new option here. You can tap on it. They can say all, and that's going to give you a list of everything, just like this guy right over here. Okay, so now we have the new essentials view for the internal storage compartment right here. That's number one. The second thing also is very useful. So let me just tap over here to recent files. Let's just look at my recent files. I'm going to press and hold on this one. And then you have an option here that says more. Now let me show you the new option that we have here. So I'm going to tap on Recents. Uh, let me just press and hold on this guy right here. All right. I'm going to tap on More. And now what you have is you have this Open in New Window option. You don't have it here. Uh, you have it here. Okay. So when you click it, what happens is it opens up a split screen multitasking view automatically so you can inspect that one picture but still have access to your My Files. This is a great way to inspect the file without exiting the actual uh, folder structure right here. Okay, so that's great as well. That's number two. Let's look at the other two features. Now, the next feature actually applies to uh, probably tablets that have larger displays. So if I do go to the Galaxy Store here, if I go down, you'll see under updates, it says provides an optimized navigation rail for large screen models. So if you do have a larger screen model, which should be a tablet, what you are going to get is you're going to get a better navigation rail. So uh, here it's pretty simple. You know, it's a phone format. But when you have the tablet, you are going to get a new navigation rail that's a little bit more optimized. Nothing dramatic. It's going to be a little bit more optimized. So that's number three. Number four, very simple. It says allows copying and moving between the folders under the same category. So if I were to go over here, uh, here we have the categories or we can just go right down here, internal storage. If I were to go to my DCIM folder, we have a bunch of folders here. What you can do is now copying and moving is now allowed between folders under the same category. Okay, it's not something I use a lot, but now you have that option. If that's something you have been looking for, some people really use their file explorers to this, their maximum. So that's the last one. Okay, and uh, that's it. That's a uh, a great update to the My Files application, make it even more functional with some new features. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.